All right, guys, now we're going to be shooting a legend <clears throat> with the factory federal, rounds. factory federal rounds. See how they shoot. All right, so I'm impressed. That shot pretty good. The only thing is my order of ejection was 1 to 2 o'clock. That's kind of different. Because it's been throwing about 3.34. All right, well, there's those 10 rounds. I'm actually thinking I'm going to save these for hunting because, oh, man. Uh... I'm going to back up and show you what I've got here. Alright, so I'm just shooting off my bag, my range bag, and holding it up to get the elevation. And uh, every heartbeat was throwing me to the right every time. So uh, <laughs> I had to shoot in between heartbeats. <laughs> it was weird. But anyway, uh, I, I'm impressed with the group for that. Uh, the first shot, I cleaned my gun last night, so uh, of course it shot high. And all the rest of them are just right in there. All right, guys, we'll review that when I get back to the uh, bench. All right, guys, I'm back from the range. Uh, we're... I was shooting the uh, 350 Legend. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm, go I'm going to address this right off the bat. You've seen how I was shooting. I was shooting off that bag, so I don't want you guys to judge me when you see my target. <laughs> because I want to tell you right now, the gun and the ammunition was doing a hell of a lot better than I was. Okay, I'm, I'm going to... Just show you the target right up front. And then we'll get into uh, some other things. Now these these are from my 308. These ones up here. So I'm going to hold my hand there. This was the very first shot. <clears throat> In the front of the video I mentioned my first shot was clean board. And uh, it showed on the velocity too. It was, it was over 2100. Uh, actually 2107 it was the only one that reached that high the next one to that was 2094 okay now here is how I was aiming uh, this scope has mill dots up and down and right and left <clears throat> I had right and left mill dots on these two targets so i was shooting center uh, i think the next three shots were these three and that's when i was like okay i'm impressed with this ammunition but then i shot down in here now this is all 10. Uh, there's the first one there's one two three four five six and then there's three here 
What? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's six. Okay, yeah, there we go. There we go. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, what had happened was I forgot to take my sandbags and I was trying to shoot off my range bag. Well, it wasn't quite high enough, so I was like trying to lift it up between my hand and, and the range bag. And that wasn't steady. And every time my heart beat, it was like, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you right now this, I recommend this ammunition. This is good stuff. And if you don't remember what it was, right here it is. I get that to focus. Yeah, I don't want to focus. But I think you guys can read it, even though it's a little out of focus. All right, so I'm going to give uh, give you some numbers. Actually, you guys have already seen the numbers, so I'm going to give you the average. The average would be uh, <clears throat> 2,077 feet per second. Now, I did have an extreme spread of 50. Uh, I, I really didn't like that number. But... <clears throat> Most of it was right there in the, well, I'm going to say five, five of the shots <clears throat> were 2074 to uh, 2077, five of them. Uh, the other five were sporadic, two were real high and two were real low and one was in the middle. But, uh, like I said, that first shot was uh, a clean bore. So I'm pretty sure that's one reason why it was shooting faster. And it was 2107, like I said. Uh, and the uh, third shot was 2057. And that's where I got my extreme spread right there. But all in all, they functioned really well. Now, I mentioned in the video that it was odd that they were kicking out at one to two o'clock uh actually only had two that done that the rest of them were right at 334 uh when i went to retrieve my my brass so i wanted to make sure and cover that uh see if i can all right let's see if we can get some focus going on here. Just want to give me brightness. I don't know why this thing ain't focusing. Sorry, guys. I know we go through this every time I do this. Oh, there we go. I thought I had it going. Yeah, I'll throw some pictures in of the primers, but uh, oh no, it looks really good in the the, in the brass. Uh, there is some some uh, uh, ejector marks. So, but I think that's pretty common. All right, guys. That's all I got for now. I'll catch you in the next video. You would think after two and a half years, Tim would learn how to run a camera.